Six states are opening up eligibility for the COVID vaccine to all adults today. Here in New Mexico, it could be a couple more weeks before we follow suit. News 13's Lizzie Mitri shows us how we're stacking up against the rest of the country with the vaccine rollout. Lizzie. Others may be expanding eligibility more, but New Mexico is still leading the country when it comes to the rate at which it's getting people vaccinated. So we're doing great. Um, well over 40% of our folks have gotten at least a first shot. Uh, well over a quarter have gotten fully vaccinated at this point, and that's only going to get faster as we get additional supply from the federal government. Using data from the CDC, the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal put New Mexico first among U.S. states, both with the highest percentage of the population fully vaccinated and for the percentage of people who've gotten at least one shot. States like South Dakota and Alaska are close behind, whereas states like Georgia and Alabama are trailing toward the bottom. New Mexico's Department of Health believes the faster vaccine rollout here is in part because of the statewide registration system and the flexibility to adjust in the face of challenges like transportation or the storage of vaccines. We have meetings with all kinds of partners, ex external and internal, all day long to problem solve and, um, and really discuss the, the small issues that come with a logistical operation of this complexity. A little more than a week ago, New Mexico expanded vaccine eligibility to include people 60 and older and other essential workers who can't do their jobs at home, like retail and restaurant workers. The next step will be allowing anyone 16 or older to get the vaccine. And the health secretary said last week that will likely be in mid-April for New Mexico. While today is the day for Kansas, Louisiana, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, and Texas, with other states to follow throughout the week. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Lizanne. Now, more than a third of adults in the U.S. have gotten at least one shot so far.